Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Building a Nation with Team Canada and today we are back in the Nations League trying to recover from that 1-0 loss to Mexico. We're going to take out all of our frustrations on the small island nations of Antigua and Barbuda. Take a look at these fellas, uh, you know. They got a halfway decent squad. They don't really have a ton of great players, but they do have one very good player. M Malone Romeo. Romeo, perhaps. 25 years old, right back, playing for Millwall. This guy is pretty good. A lot of pace and acceleration. Stamina, he can run up and down that right-hand side all day. Worth $10 million. I mean... Get out of Dodge. He's a very good player. Not a lot backing him up, but uh, you know when he when you got a player of that caliber, you can't take the team for granted. And they haven't played very well in this tournament, unfortunately. But uh, you know we're gonna do everything we can to really stick it to him because we're gonna need that goal differential. Now winning this game will tie us technically with Mexico with six points. But we'll have, uh, you know, three games to their two. So it's not really going to be, uh, it's not really going to be a, a tie. They're still going to be ahead of us. They've beaten us once. So it's going to come down to the final game. It's going to come down to goal differential. You know, if we can beat them in that final game better than they beat us, then we're going to move ahead on goal differential. But... In order to do that, we're going to have to beat the team today pretty badly. Let's take a look at old Antigua Barbuda. We looked at their squad. Let's take a look at their profile. 121st in the world. It's not great. They have a population, not even 1 million. 93.24 thousand. 93,240, I suppose. Anyway, that's not a lot of people. We got cities in Canada bigger than that. So, you know, it's understandable. Actually, it's actually it's kind of impressive that they have that many players on their team. That many professional players come from, you know, nations that small. So, actually, hats off to them. We don't want to disparage them in any way. But we do want to destroy them utterly. So... Uh, wait, let's get back to the match preview. We are heavy, heavy favorites, eight to one odds. Um, we've only played them once, beat them once. Uh, where are we playing? We're playing the Antigua Recreation Ground in St. John's. Maybe we'll take a look at this place. Built in 1981, good capacity, 12,000 under soil heating. No roof. No. Uh, but yeah, it could be an interesting place to look at. Maybe we'll do that in a little separate video. But for now, we'll get back to uh, this game and let's go kick off. Well, Ralston Williams, head coach. Pretty sure we looked at him before. No, he's yeah, he's been he's been the head coach for a long time. Since wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? What's going on here? He's their head coach. His history, though, is sort of spotty. He was the head coach here in 2004-2005. And then he went to Parham FC till 2019. And then I suppose he got the job here. But he's not listing it in his history. Very strange. There we go. Appointed. Now let's point it as captain. Oh, so... What? Pointed Josh Parker. Pointed, blah, blah, failed. Knocked out. World Cup. I don't know. So 2019, apparently he left as Parham FC coach. 2020, World Cup, North America. He, whatever. He's the coach. He's the coach. We'll take their word for it that he's the coach. Here we go. We got a completely rotated side. We switched to the Z formation. We're going to go attacking on these. Fellas, or we're going to go positive anyway. Try to control the game. We got a brand new squad in there from soup to nuts. We got Lootweiler in goal, getting 
you know, a rare appearance for him. Zlatkovic and Ahmed at the fullback positions. Dunn and Henry in central defense. Piet and Mark Anthony K in the midfield. New guy Millar on the left. Balu on the right. Chapman in the middle and Cavallini up top. I'm going to try Cavallini as a pressing forward today. Liam Miller as an inside forward on attack. Probably would be better if we had Cabra at left back so that he could go down this left-hand side in the attack mode. But if we got too big of a gap here, we can send Zlatkovic forward just as a decoy, I suppose. He's not really good on the attack, but, uh, you know, whatever. Um, let's give the fans the performance they're expecting, whatever. Oppositions. I mean, just leftover frustrations from that Mexico game. You can probably... Like, hear it in my voice. Just, just very upset about it. Let's get to the tunnel. Uh, he sprung a few surprises. Yeah, some players will play here. Others will play never again in their entire lives. But let's go. Nice little ground here. Looks pretty good. Full stands. That's always a positive. You know, sometimes you come to these smaller nations. And they got nobody in the stands for whatever reason. But, uh. I guess the Nations League is popular down here, so they got a nice full crowd today. All 93,000 uh, <laughs> residents of the islands are here. Actually, 12,000. That's still a pretty decent percentage of their overall population is here today in the stands. It's kind of wild to think about. Anyway, five minutes in. Here we go. First highlights. Benjamin J. Looks like uh, Antigua is going to get the first highlight. Murtog. He's a familiar name. Played against him before. There we go. Ahmed wins the header. Balu gets the ball forward. Cross midfield. He's looking, looking. Past one man. Can he center it? He does. There's Cavallini. Misses the header. That's pretty much what we want, though. Just get the ball to Cavallini and see if he can score in front of that goal. It's going to be tough with Millar going down the left-hand side. That's where their best player, Romeo, is. Free kick from Cavallini. He's already got a yellow card. Nearly scores there, but great stop by the goalkeeper. Henry keeps it alive. Balu sends it back post. Williams... Outfights one of our players for the ball. That's a bit of a shock. I thought thought we might be able to push him aside, but I guess not. Kelis Williams, 20-year-old regen slash gray player. Doing his best. Here's Latkovic. Trying to get forward a little bit. Provide some of that width down the left. Chapman. Forward. There's Millar. Cavallini gets the ball stolen momentarily. Back to Millar. He takes a shot and he scores in his first start as a Team Canada winger. Outstanding. Shoots an arrow into the sky. Good man. Good man. Now I don't know if his future is at left wing. Because Alfonso Davies is there. But, you know, he, he does make a reliable second option at striker. Makes a reliable second option at left wing. You know, we could maybe put him at right wing. Or we could maybe take David out of striker. Put David down to right wing. You know, there's lots of options. Just, he's another very good player. Another guy we can bring in. And as you can see, he can score goals. That's what we wanted out, and that's what I envisioned when I was chasing this guy all those years. Here's Frederick. Sends in a corner kick. Smith is going to gather it in. His shot's deflected. Come on, boys. Can we get a counterattack out of this? Three guys on Frederick. Murtog. Wilden is a little bit open there. He takes a shot, but it's deflected. Antigua controlling possession here. Keeping us penned in a little bit after the set piece. Defense is holding steady, though. I like this. 
Murtaugh under pressure. Frederick, come on, boys. See what we can do. Chapman, can you do anything defensively? It's not really... Defense isn't really his forte. Doesn't Almost got the steal there. Ahmed wins the header. There we go. Mark Anthony K. Let's end the highlight. Little too much to ask for, I think, after that massive highlight to get uh, counterattack. They're running the uh, the eagle formation here. Four defenders, five midfielders, one attacker. They are getting quite a few highlights, though. I'm not sure I'm happy about this. Francis Angle to Murtaugh. Moving it uh, slowly around. So they're taking their time here. We're not showing a... A ton of pressure on these guys, just sort of slightly marking them. Here's Akeem. Akeem the Dream. Nice pass to Frederick. Out wide to Smith. Yeah, Barbuda's got something going here. Back post to Akeem, but Lutweiler is there. That was a very dangerous attack. They had two guys in front of goal. That could have easily been uh, a tying goal for them. That's no good. Wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? In his first game, 33 minutes, potential foot injury. Okay, we're going to have to bring in Brim. That's fine. Winger on support. He's got a good uh, partnership with Zlatkovic. The two of them play together quite often in Vancouver. So that should be fine and dandy. Does it show up on the sub screen? No, it doesn't show up on the sub screen. Does it show up on the tactic screen? Hmm, no, it doesn't show up here. Trust me, they have a partnership. Anyway, here we go. Free kick, Cavallini. Let's go. Whoa, there it is. Gets off the schneid and scores a goal on the free kick. Sometimes you need that for a striker. Get things, get the juices flowing. Get a, It's like going to the free throw line. In basketball, there we go. That was a great free kick. Curved it right over the wall. Near post. 2-0. Let's pour it on, boys. Let's pour it on. Dunn tries to win the header. Can't do it. Cavallini chases it down. He's very motivated. Chapman. Oh, I thought he was going to take that shot. Mark Anthony K shoots it over. I don't think that's particularly his forte. Oop. Guess we got no time to check. 40 minutes. Another highlight. There's a big tackle from Zlatkovic to Brim. Dives inside. I just started training him to stay wide because that diving inside stuff is not what he's supposed to be doing. He's got 16 crossing. Like, he should be staying outside and crossing the ball. There's no need for him to dive inside as often as he does. Chapman's going to pick his way through the defense. Tries to get it outside. Sends Brim wide where he's supposed to be. There's the cross. Baloo on the back post. Nice stop from Lawrence, the goalkeeper. And Antigua Barbuda starts a counterattack here. Parker. Oh, boy. That was a huge foul from Henry. Yellow card? Any kind of card? Something happened there. I mean, that was... He body tackled him. That was pretty crazy. At least it wasn't a two-footed lunge. And get a red card. Parker with the shot between two defenders. That was tricky. These boys are not going down without a fight. You know, they've had some dangerous attacks. Parker playing for Colchester. He's a decent player. Like, he's nothing to sneeze at, you know. He's not great or anything. He's not really at our level, but he's not very far below our level. So he's, you know, you can't just you can't just dismiss some of these guys on this team. Surprisingly, they're pretty good. Okay. Three minutes of extra time in the first half. Let's get this over with. 51% possession for Antigua. So they're... I mean, they're in this game. It's only 2-0. They've got opportunities. So let's get to the dressing room. Pep talk. Let's be 
assertive. Don't get complacent. Keep focus. Let's go. Start the second half. I don't think there's anything else I want to do. So let's go. Let's go. 45 minutes. I mean, a game like this is strange because it's a game we need. We can't lose it. We have to win it big to stay up with Mexico. But on the other hand, it's a game that we're probably going to win comfortably no matter what we do. So it's just a matter of keeping focus, taking advantage of opportunities like this. Chapman getting forward. He had Cavallini, but he hesitated and got tackled. Now they're trying to put the pressure on. There we go. Piet wins the ball in midfield. You can see the difference between Piet and Norman. I mean, Piet is a little dude. He's a feisty guy. He's a bulldog. But he is tiny, especially compared to Norman, our other defensive midfielder. Norman's like 6'2", I think. Anyway, here's Baloo. K. Piet sends it across. Lakovic on the overlap, getting forward. Gets it to Brim. Brim out wide. His cross is deflected. Can he get to it? He does. Back post to Baloo. There we go. Great great scramble play from Brim after his, uh, his cross was blocked. Baloo holding off two defenders back here on the back post. Take a look at Baloo there. Brim blocked. He's about to go out of touch. Then there he goes. He sends it. Baloo beats those two defenders. Beats the keeper. Getting goals from in interesting sources today. I guess Cavallini, I mean, he should score goals, but he got it from a free kick. Not necessarily what he does. 50 minutes. Let's see if Lutweiler can keep his shutout. He's trying his best. He had to tap that one away. It's a good shot from Frederick. Guy we looked at earlier. He's, uh, he's a pretty decent player. Here we go, corner kick, far side, drops it to Parker. He's in dangerous territory, forces Lutweiler. I mean, Lutweiler didn't really need to stop that, but I guess he didn't He didn't know his spatial awareness there. Frederick's going to get another crack at it. Same play. Parker's got a little bit better angle this time. Henry with a big slide tackle. I guess good defense there. Balu, I think, got his head in the way. But Antigua, they keep things going. Drop it back to midfield. There ends the highlight. Look at that. They got 52% of the possession. Okay, it's back to 50. That's reasonable. It's respectable. We got a lot of yellow cards. Here's Baloo sending it in at 55 minutes. Cavallini heads it to Henry with the goal. Whew. All right, so... Plus four goal differentials, pretty good. That can really help us against Mexico. We'll see what they do. Because after this, we'll have one more game versus Mexico. And Mexico will still have two more games. One versus us, one versus Antigua. Who've dropped back down to their eagle formation here. After I think they've moved Frederick up top to go 4-4-2. Now they're dropping back. Just to try to uh, save some uh, face, I think. Not going to... Nope. Hmm. They did move Frederick back up top. I think they're just moving him around. Interesting, interesting. Let's see. Do we have anybody to remove? I mean, we got all these yellow cards to get out of there. You know, maybe we could sub out Henry. He's at 70%. But I don't know. Everybody's playing well. We'll let them ride with their yellow cards. Our two young fullbacks each have yellow cards. Romeo's an accomplished crosser of the ball. Sure. Make that change. Is there any, like, tell guys to... Yes, yeah, Zlatkovic has been booked. Tell him to ease off tackles. That I will accept for sure. For show, for show. Much different game than the one we played against Mexico. It's just 
night and day. Cavallini going to try to get his hat trick, perhaps. No, <laughs> Lawrence defends himself from that one. Sort of seemed like it bounced off his shoulder. Their attack is looking pretty tired, or their midfield is anyway. Baloo sends one in. Wilden sends it out. Back to Baloo. Okay. Interesting ball. Henry. D. Henry. Let's go. Piet. Chapman. Our formation is a bit uh, funky here at the moment. Let's get uh, reconstituted, boys. There we go. Ahmed's been booked. Yeah, we'll tell him to ease off tackles. Can we can we tell everybody to ease off tackles? How about that? Tighter marking. Stay on feet. Yeah. That seems like a solid plan. All right. Henry's at 63%. Um... Yeah, we can bring in Hockenden for the last few minutes. No problems there. I mean, Hockenden played well. Got to give it to him. He did play well in that first game. Maybe his ratings didn't quite show it. But, uh, you know, he made some key defensive plays, I thought, in that game versus Mexico. All right. Three minutes of stoppage time. Just about up. Romeo, the $10 million man. Thought about taking on the entire team, but drops it back instead. Hakeem, the dream, moving forward. One last attack for the Islanders here. Nope. And there it ends. There it ends. So Millar gets a goal. Cavallini, Balu, and Henry. Pretty good game. We'll take it. Four goals. Cavallini, player of the match. Two assists, a goal, and player of the match. Very good. 9.0 rating. All right. So there we go. We'll end that. Very pleased. Let's go get out. Take a look at the competition and see where things stand after this game. It's like I said, I don't think Mexico plays again. I think they just play the one game. Lopsided result for Canada. That's good. Classy Cavallini, stellar, absolutely. Positive reaction, good for them. Uh-oh, Slakovich wants an improved deal, or at least his agent does. The emergence as recognized international and more pointedly in the wake of his impressive display in Canada's convincing 4-0 win. I mean, like, yeah, why not? Absolutely. Minimum, oh, he's got a minimum fever. These cars are get out of here. I mean, honestly, that's not too bad. That's fine. Um, let's get it, make it four years. How about that? How do you like them apples? No, three years. It's fine. First team contract, senior. I mean, we've got so much money. We can just throw money at his face and say, get out of here. Get out of here. All right, competitions. North American Nations League. So there we go. We boosted our goal differential up to five. So that's helpful. We've caught up in goal differential. They're going to move ahead of us when they play Antigua for a second time. So that's not good. They'll probably shoot ahead of us in goal differential. And then again, it's going to come down to that final game. Canada versus Mexico. We're going to have to beat them. We're probably going to have to beat them significantly unless they only beat Antigua by one goal. So they've been relegated. El Salvador has been relegated. Costa Rica and Cuba still have a minor chance. Cuba has two games remaining. So if they can beat Costa Rica and USA, they can jump ahead of Costa Rica. But most likely it looks like they're going down. And then Panama and Guadalupe are in a dogfight with one point each. Jamaica continues to steamroll the competition in north america once again qualifying for the next round all right must respond now the one problem i have the one thing like our goal here is to reach the semifinals i highly doubt that the board would fire us over this over nations league but you never know i mean look at the other competitions there's no other competitions here board confidence is only 57 percent 
which is stupid because we qualified for the World Cup. They only wanted us to reach the third round. Their aspirations were very low when it came to qualifying, but we qualified. We won the, uh, the Gold Cup, and we're only 59%. So if we don't, if we fail to make Nations League and they fire us, I will be so insanely mad that I don't know what I'll do. But uh, we'll leave that for some other day, some other time. Uh, we'll come back maybe for end of season MLS. We'll have to see when this next group of games is actually taking place. Not until end of October. It's currently September. We got a friendly for some reason versus Monsterat. What is this? They got three players. Who are these guys? The Emerald Boys. Population 5,000. Okay. 191st in the world. Okay. Whatever. Um, probably some other tiny, tiny island nation. We'll have to figure out who they are and where they are. But anyway, we'll come back for Mexico, at least. Anyway, I don't know. We're going to end it here because I'm confused. Anyway, we're going to end it. Bye. See you later. Next.